Hey everyone, it's Edward from Ideal Direct Home Improvements. In today's video, I'm going to show you how we're going to be waterproofing this shower and the cement board behind me using the Mape Aqua Defense. I'm going to do step-by-step -step video on that. We're going to waterproof that and I'm going to show you everything. So stay tuned and enjoy. Look at what's going on here. The cement board is all installed and I already taped the quarters and the seams with the Durabon 90 and uh, I used the special fiber mesh tape and it's all done. Taped up the corners on the ceiling and everything. So this is pretty much ready for me to start painting or not painting but coating with the Aqua Defense. So first step I'm going to do is I'm going to measure a line out from the corner to where I want the tile to, to finish and then I'm going to draw a line with the level and then I'm going to tape that up because that line is going to tell me where the end of the tile is going to be and I'm going to be stopping the aqua guard right on that line because I don't want to get anything on the painted side and that's it I'm going to get started step one Step one of using the Aqua Defense, I'm gonna measure this out right now and it should be about 36 inches, which it is exactly. So I'm gonna mark 36 inches on this wall. So this is where the tile is gonna end. I'm gonna take my level, I'm gonna mark a line, level, and then I'm going to use the frog tape so that I don't peel off the primer that's already on there. And that's going to be where my stop is going to be. So I can roll this on, only get it exactly where the tile is being installed and nowhere else wherever the paint is going to be. So I'm going to get started with marking that line with the level and then I'm going to tape it up and we'll watch it on time lapse. The tile is going to stop right before the green line and I don't want to get the aqua defense on the painted wall just where the tile is going to be. I don't have to mask this because the tile is going to come right to the edge of the corner bead. Here's the stuff that we're going to be using. It's like a rubber membrane, okay? I buy it in a five gallon pill. I'll probably use maybe about a quarter of it. Anyways, it's as simple as this. We're going to use a brush. This is the brush that I had, it's a big brush, but this is going to be to cut the ceiling. I taped up the ceiling just so that I don't get the, this all over the ceiling. Um, it's a dark green. The ceiling and everything is primed um, to cover the dark green with white paint after it'll be difficult. So I just taped up the ceiling because it's all primed and everything's ready to go. So brush and then once I cut in all the corners and stuff for the first coat, I'm going to uh, roll everything on with a regular nap roller. It's a 3 8 nap roller and that's it. Uh, I just opened the bucket so let's take a look. So there it is. It smells nice. So that's it. So it's blue but when it dries it's going to turn green. I'm just going to get a stirring stick because I'm going to mix it up. Okay so before we use it we're just going to stir it up a little bit and it's pretty thick the consistency you know. Gonna stir it. And in 
instead of pouring that into anything, this is my little margin container that I'm going to use. I'm going to put enough just to paint. Use any cup. I always do this with paints and stuff. Pour it in. And we're ready to go. I'm going to start cutting everything. There you go. We can mix it up a little bit in here. And that's it. I'm going to get started. So let's take a closer look. I just want to show you. So I'm cutting in all the corners and stuff like that. And if you saw and noticed in the time lapse that as I finished putting this on the ceiling, um, I took the tape off the second I was done because uh, this will stick the tape all pretty much one piece. So as it's fresh, like I taped it just so I wouldn't make a mess. And as I finished the ceiling, I took the tape on. So let's take a closer look. Um, I'm just using a regular brush like I showed you. And it, this, this stuff is, is pretty thick. And we want to get right in there. Okay. This is the first coat. And I'm going to show you step by step. And through, you know, the next stage and stuff like that. And uh, also I wanted to notice or to make a note in to point out to you guys that okay so we installed the cement board and then we used that special fiberglass mesh that's designed for the cement board which is a little bit thicker and it sticks a little bit easier to the cement board and you can use uh, a Portland cement to tape up the seams and stuff um, I don't use the Portland cement. I use the Durabond 90 because the Durabond 90, once it dries, it pretty much becomes as hard as a rock. And, uh, you know, nothing will ever happen. I don't prime it or anything. I just keep it as flat as I possibly can. One coat done properly of the Durabond 90 on these seams is good enough. So this is the first coat. So you can see that it's like a light blue. And then as it dries, it turns into a green. So I'm done cutting everything. And uh, I'm gonna start rolling right now. And we're gonna do the first coat, roll it. And you're gonna notice in the time lapse that once I'm done rolling the wall, I'm gonna remove that tape uh, or else it's gonna pretty much seal it up too. Okay, so let's take a look at the time lapse with the rolling. And this is just like paint. The key is to make sure, especially for the first coat, you get right into every crack. And, and this is just amazing stuff because if you do it properly, this is going to be a seamless waterproof. Okay, so let's do the time lapse, rolling on, and then we'll go on to the next step. Okay, there you have it. First coat is all done. Take a look. And uh, you see why I peeled the tape off right away. Up top, when I cut the ceiling, I didn't peel it off. And see, the rubber actually attached to the tape. So once you put it on, you have to remove the tape. And there's my line. Took five minutes of prep, but it's done. The waterproofing, the first coat, everything dried already. It's, uh, it had at least 12 hours to 14 hours to dry. The next step is, is to uh, do the corners 
with the fabric and stuff like that. So this is for the mape to seal it up and I'm just going to put it up, measure it, cut it, prepare them for this corner and for that corner and for the bottom too. And I'll show you how I'm going to put it on and it's really simple. I'm just going to pre-cut everything, get it all ready to go. And I'm just going to roll this right on because the membrane, the aqua defense goes right through and makes this stick right onto everything. So once this is all installed, then I'll put another coat on. And uh, after this, we'll do a third coat. And by the time this is done, it's pretty much going to be all waterproof, seamless waterproofing. I pre-cut all my pieces and I'm ready to go. I'm going to start with the bottom pieces first and I'm just going to take a smaller roller now and I'm just going to roll a little bit on the wall first. Just want to make sure that it's high enough. So that's ready to go. Now I'm not going to let this touch the base. I'm going to keep it at least about minimum three eighths of an inch off of the base. So it's stuck on just like that, you can see. And now I'm just going to roll over a good coat. So the fabric's not touching the base. show you how I do one of the bottoms and then the rest will be time lapse. Okay, so that's one of the bottoms. I'm gonna do the same thing all the way around. Once the bottoms are installed, then I'm gonna put the corners. So basically what that's gonna create is a shingle effect. Bottom first, sides and corners on top of the bottom. Okay, so we'll do a time lapse.
we are. So bottom piece is all installed, as you can see. And I did the corners. Everything's beautiful, nice and tight. I cut the ceiling. So this is ready to roll. And I just wanted to show everybody. Okay, so why do you put on a few coats? Well, the first coat, I don't know if you can see, but you see those little holes? Those little pinholes and stuff, that's from the cement board. So see how we did the first coat and you still have a few holes? Well, that's why it's gonna take this coat and then one more and we'll fill in those holes, no problem. But there it is. So the bottom, that's it. Everything's gonna drain into the pan 100%. And now I'm gonna start to roll the walls. This will be the second coat. Then we'll let this dry, put on the last coat, and we're done. This is gonna be pretty much 100% seamless waterproofing. Second coat's all done. Now we're just gonna let that dry. At least a good 12 hours or so. And that's it, that's actually a nice color. Too bad it doesn't stay that color. But you see, and you saw, that when it dries up, it turns into that dark green. But there you have the corners, the seams, everything. The bottom especially. After the third coat, it's ready for installation, for towel installation. And that's it. If any water ever gets in behind the towels, they're just going to drain right into the pan. Here we are back after the second coat dried. And, uh, you know, it's looking good. And I'm going to show you, the second coat really sealed up a lot of those little pinholes. And the third coat will definitely do it. So I would definitely recommend doing three coats if everything's prepped ready to go the only thing that you have to keep in mind is the drying time now you know you can follow the instructions on the bin itself and see how it goes um, to be honest with any type of waterproofing especially like this if they say three hours four hours drying time and you can put on the second coat I would just take my time and I would just do it the next day let it cure a little and the results are, are going to be fantastic and it's proven that it will you know do its job if you let it dry and cure and you take your time in between the coats so we're going to get started on the last coat and uh, i'm going to show you right now and take a closer look at how solid this membrane is uh, becoming and coming together and uh, you know the pinholes so after this coat if there's any pinholes in the cement board definitely the third coat will take care of it so let's take a closer look here's the second coat so everything is dry nice and solid and if you look closely like there's only a couple little pinholes here and there but on the majority it's it's pretty good so guaranteed the third coat and those pinholes like the waterproofing membrane did get in there, so it's just little, I guess, indentations or pinholes that you can see. So I'm just going to tape up the ceiling. I'm not going to record putting the third coat on. The bottom is all done, right, with our band, and it's solid. It's all done. I'm not going to record um, me putting on the third coat because it's, it's basically the same uh, situation. You know, I'm just going to tape up the ceiling, tape up the line, just so I don't get any more of that green stuff on all the primer and so on. I'm not going to record me doing it, but we'll take a shot just after it's fresh. Well, there you have it, folks. We're all done with the waterproofing in this shower. We did three coats. 
and it's all done. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, thumbs up, and subscribe, and have a great day.